The problem with the Vipassana course for 12 days is you hurt yourself for 10 and then you get two days where you have a bit of clarity. If you're a meditator, you get clarity every day and you don't hurt yourself on the way through. It's very hard for someone who's not a meditator to sit for 12 days without moving, watching the breath. I don't recommend it to anyone. It's a, anyone, it's a form of torture. I recommend that you actually meditate every day, even if it's only for five minutes or maybe 10 lots of five minutes or an hour. You're way better off doing it that way because you'll get used to the idea of sitting and watching your breath and then the clarity that comes and the insight that comes after you come out of meditation because of the detachment from your own mind. I'm not into teaching people how to torture themselves. Some people take drugs to get the same insights and they do, they get the insights. Waste of time. Those insights don't raise your consciousness levels, not one bit. They're an invitation to do the work to change your consciousness levels and that's all they are. Yes. So in terms of how to meditate, you're, you're saying that um, you basically sit in silence and just concentrate on your breath and that's... That's, for, that's a formal form of meditation. But what about being present to what's happening all the time? That's meditation also. If you're aware of what is real as opposed to what is not all the time, you're in a state of meditation all the time. The only time you move out of meditation is when you go back to thinking and you put your awareness there. So you're partially out here and partially there. So my teacher told me 35 years ago that meditation needs to be all the time, all day long. I didn't for a second believe him. I thought it was just too hard until I found that you could be here. Little kids are here pretty much all the time, up to the age of five. It's just that we were programmed to live in our heads when we went to school and university. Now, if you're interested in higher consciousness, you've got to get back to reality. And reality isn't thinking. Thinking is dreaming.